Welcome to Soccer As We Like It. My name is Tim Russell, your host, and this is a special edition on this particular program called Manchester United The New Direction. Manchester United actually is one of the biggest clubs in the world in terms of football. When you look at Man United, we're talking about a global brand worldwide. They sell, they are everywhere and anywhere. In reference to that, the success starts on the pitch. Without the success on the pitch, no one is interested in Manchester United about the success on the pitch. The, the success on the pitch brings the glory and all the sponsors and brings in the money and millions generated and brings that global base as one United family. Currently, Man United are in what you call a transition period. Just like Man United had a, a, transition, a, a transitional period back in the 70s. They've had a transition in the 50s, into the 60s. They had a transitional period during the 80s whereby it was changing the managers, trying to find the right formula. That has been. Man United have always been a team of pace, power and finesse. When I say pace, they've always had wingers. If you go all the way back, United have had a history of wingers. I mean, we can only go as far back as what I know. You go back, you go to God where there's George Best, go into the 80s, talk about Steve Koppel, Danny Wallace, Gordon Hill. Then you go further in, you go to Lee Sharp, Ryan Giggs, Andre Klinchelskis, Bloomquist, Ronaldo. So these are players who've always been, had wingers and have had pace at United's playing days. Manchester United currently are in a transitional period under a new manager called Jose Marino, who is one of the greatest managers in our generation. For you to say, or for people to say, who don't even know Manchester United the club, who don't even follow Manchester United, but just hate Manchester United, to start saying Jose out, is um, is literally unacceptable to say. I think that's an insult. We are not going to be, Man United are not going to be a club who keep chopping and changing managers every single season. It's not going to happen. We, try to, we tend to give managers some time, build the team, we have to see progress. There is currently progress. What we played last season and the season before and the previous season, let's go back. We had so much great success under Sir Alex Ferguson. 30 league titles, 4 FA Cups, 4 League Cups, 2 Champions Leagues, 1 Cup Winners Cup, 2 World Club Cups, 6 Charity Shields. What more can you do for a manager? What more can you do for a club? He has delivered and yes, he did say in his day that a, a club the size of Manchester United should have won more European trophies. I get, I get that. We should have won more European trophies. But unfortunately, we were restricted by that four foreigners European rule back in the mid-90s. That did change, but we still lack that quality in challenging top European teams in the 90s. Hence, we didn't really do well in the 90s in Europe. Oh yes, we were winning league titles, but when it got to the European League, European Championship Leagues, we struggled. And yes, not to the late 90s, we actually found the formula which led to the treble team. Manchester United currently, and Man United in the past, are two different teams, two different trends, two different directions. We played with pace and power. We had leaders on every single direction and every part of the pitch in the lineup of Sir Alex Ferguson. Take a look at it this way. When Alex Ferguson built the team, he built the team with players who were there and players he had in mind. We, it, there was a drinking culture. He eradicated all of that and brought in players through the youth ranks and ended up blending them with experience led by Brown Robson. Then after the Brown Robson, he has built so many teams in that era. You go from the late 80s to the 94 double, the 96 double, the 99 treble, the 2008 team that won the Champions League and the league title. Then the last team he even built, the 2013 team that lost, that won the title with uh, Robin Van Persie. That was the man I did, everyone's used to, the pace. The, the solid defence at the back, the solid midfield. We had midfield generals, and Robson, we had Keane. Currently, that is lacking. But it will come back, it will come back. I know it will come back. We, have, we need that spine. We always had the spine. Schmeichel, Keane, York and Cole. That spine right through the middle, right through the middle. Now, 
if you go back, you had players who have delivered so much fantastic football for Man United. We were entertained. We, teams were scared of being on the same pitch with Man United. Just seeing Man United, psychologically, they were defeated. Coming to Old Trafford, they knew they were not going to get any points, not even a point from Old Trafford back in the day. The fear factor has gone. But it didn't just go overnight. It was a gradual, gradual process. The lack of quality players United have had has led to that lack of fear from the opponents who were crumbling when they just saw United players on the pitch. When you had leaders, the Incis, the Keys, the Robsons, Jap Stams of this world, this team got onto the field and knew they were not got, they were not going to get beaten. They knew that. The Gary Nevilles. But it all comes down to the players who have to give the all, who have to have that belief that they're not going to get defeated. That is just a simple fact of the matter. It's not simultaneous equations, it's not calculus, it's just simple, basic understanding of a, men a player's mental thinking and belief. Once the manager has told you what to do, you as a player know you have the instructions, you deliver. When you play for manager and wear that badge, you deliver. Regardless, you play for that bad fan for the club and the fans will be behind you all the way. There's no other way around it. But in today's team, we have so many lack of leaders, we have so many players who are just crybabies, ponies, who have no backbone. You see what I mean? When I hear about people saying, Jose out, Jose out, I, I wonder and crack my head like, right, if you want him out, then who do you bring in? No, who do you bring in? Who's available now? You can't bring in Ryan Giggs. Ryan Giggs is not the right man for Man United at this current time. We don't need ex-players. We need a guy who has a direction, who's got the experience, who can pull in players in the transfer market and get United back on track where United belong. United believe and belong in the same category as the Barcelona, the Real Madrid, the Bayern Munich. That's where they need to be. But first of all, we have to start with the foundation. You have to get the players' mindset to start playing positive and attractive football again, playing the Manchester United way. Currently, we are getting there. We're now creative, we're more, we're, we're, we have more pace on the ball. We now go direct. We don't go sideways, sideways, sideways. We don't play crap football anymore. We play direct. We're getting there. It will take time, but it's positive. If you look at this season, the games we have drawn, we all see this. Stoke City, Burnley, Arsenal, West Ham. Teams we battered, battered them completely off the park, and I mean battered, outmaneuvered, outfought, completely dismantled these teams. But we just couldn't put the ball in the net. Okay, there's some bad luck in it. There's also lack of poor finishing, people careless. It's not the manager's fault. That is the players who are not finishing off the chances. Rashford, one on one at West Ham, fluffed it. Ibra Ibrahimovic, Against Arsenal, no, he didn't play against Arsenal. Against um, uh, Stoke City, against Burnley, chances. All these keepers of each of these teams, the Arsenal keeper, the Stoke keeper, the Burnley keeper, the West Ham, all end up being man of the match because we are hitting them hard. But the keeper is doing all he can to stop United scoring. United in the past, we've not really had a problem scoring goals. We've always scored goals. Sometimes we had bucket loads of goals, but we are scoring too many goals. But now, okay, we have players who can put the ball in there, but some of them, I've got to say, are careless. They are not putting and not finishing properly. So that's why our goal ratio is so, is, is so, is so, is so small. We've, in the four games I've mentioned, Stoke City, Burnley, Arsenal, West Ham, 91 shots on goal, only two, three goals. Out of those four games, three goals. That's a bad turnover. That's really poor. But looking forward, United can turn around. Can we win the title? I'm not going to say we can win the title, but I can say we can still make the top four. It's never too late. And nothing's done, nothing's won in November or December. The table's going to have so many topsy turvy turns. It's going to happen regardless. As we go into December, we're going to have suspension, and people are going to have 
um, injuries. So by January, I think United will be looking in a more healthy position. There's still places and players still need to adapt to this the way he wants them to play. But this United team is still not as strong as United need to be. But there's chance for improvement. I think Pogba's a great asset. Pogba's a very talented player. United will utilise him to the best of his ability because if you watch him, the real players, people who watch football, he's a very skillful player. And that's the kind of player we need. Someone who's skillful and creative to push that ball between people and release the ball. That's what we need. We don't just need guys who just sit in front of the defence and do nothing. We are not a team who are boring. We've always been a team with flair and space all the time. We had, when we, sometimes on a week, our breaks away, our breakaways were so fast with gigs and um, sharp before the, the team were able to get back to the position, the ball's already in the net. That's how fast we were. But the glory days can come back. They can come back. With the right players, the right mentality, and the right direction, which will be the Jose Jose Marino direction, which will be taking United to the next level. Yes, he, he's under pressure. Even as fans, we are all under pressure. Believe it or not, we are. It's all one big family. We're all under pressure. So I will say this now. United will make the top four. I just know they will make it. Regardless of some way, somehow, United will make the top four. What we see now, oh, we're five point, we're four point behind Tottenham. Who, who, who are the fifth team? I get that. That's fine. But we still got to play Tottenham. We still gotta play Arsenal, we still gotta play Chelsea, we still gotta play Manchester City, we still gotta play Liverpool. So, who knows? No one knows till we play those games. So what is this is what's gonna happen? As you know to stand there, there is a there, there's improvement from last season, more quality, more pace, more creativity. If you create and you have pace, we will get through. And soon enough, some of these teams are going to take a battery because United are, goals are starting to fly in. I mean, United, we had the best strike path, the best striking partnership with York and Cole. That partnership was unbelievable, the most deadliest in United's history. York and Cole, they were on another level. But they had the people supplying the balls, that you had people creating it through the middle. Keane, Skulls, Giggs, Beckham. And two of them had that understanding, that chemistry was there. Those were the days of 4 4 2, I get it, times have changed. But that team, when they stepped on the pitch, knew they're not going to lose that game. They fought to the very last. But the players we have now, some of them are not mentally tough enough to handle. We go, go down, heads drop. No. You put your chest out and you put that badge on, you know, you fight to the very whistle. That performance at Stamford Bridge, un unacceptable. Chris Morning, I'm sorry, mate. You can't be looking at the sky, looking at the plane, looking at a bird when a high ball goes on in 45 seconds, mate. Unacceptable. But moving on from that, Eric Bailey, I think he's a very class defender. I think he'll do very well for United. He reminds me of Bill Jack Stan, solid and pace. The right partnership in the middle. I'm not sure. Phil Jones and Rojo have done well as standings. They're not Italian United's first choice or top quality, but they've done enough to keep the boat steady. That's what they've done. So they've been like a stopgap, but they've done a good job so far. That's all I'll say. In the midfield, Pogba, he's coming to himself, creating passes, releasing Ibrahimovic, and passing those balls to create those chances for him to score. We need wingers. We need someone to beat players and go past and send crosses in. We still lack that. We need some pacey wingers and some pacey players to really get back to the United way. We'll get there. That's all I'll say. Alex Ferguson left a legacy and a dynasty. But all good things have always got to come to an end. It's when you get to the end, you have to start a new beginning for another end some other time, which we hope will be a longer time. My name is Tim Russell, Soccer As We Like It, you can go on my channel, Soccer As We Like It, I'm on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, and 
all we do is we just try to talk about football. But on this today, I'm covering a special Man United edition. I follow a lot of Man United forums, United Stand, I follow United Army. I have a lot of friends on Twitter and I love you guys. So just follow me, give me all the support you can, and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we'll keep talking about this. And it's a good debate for us to have. Subscribe and let's keep talking about Man United. And we would know United are going to be a, they're going to be as successful as we always want to be. We want success, and success will come back. Jose is the right manager for United. We just need to be patient. We are the right fans. We are the real fans. We know the deal, and we know United to get back to where they need to be. On that note, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for watching my show. My name is Tim Russell. Soccer as we like it. The United Direction. It's on. It's on YouTube. Follow us. I've got other episodes of other Soccer As We Like It episodes, so follow me. Thank you very much. Take care. And I'll see you next week.